Could drones soon save people from drowning at Auckland's treacherous West Coast beaches? Our reporter Eva Corlett went to Moodywai to find out. Murawai Beach is part of a rugged coastline of notoriously dangerous beaches. Its raging surf and aggressive rips swallow swimmers and surfers every year. But Murawai's unusual black sand, native bush and proximity to the city attracts thousands of locals and tourists to its shores. The Murawai Volunteer Lifeguard Service rescues around 100 of them a summer. Sometimes it doesn't always succeed. Its former president and now head of drones, Tim Jago, says the loss of a kayaker two summers ago was the impetus to seek new tools. We were searching for him and then ultimately searching for his body and um, even though the surf conditions weren't all that challenging, we just couldn't find him. And uh, it was only when the, the Westpac rescue helicopter arrived 45 minutes later and they provided that eye in the sky sort of capability for us. Mr Jago says a helicopter can take 17 minutes to get to Murawai, so a drone could be the difference between someone drowning and surviving. We're sort of two to three minutes from ripping open the backpack that these things will be stored into having them airborne and sending pictures back to us. Mr Jago says the drones will cost around $5,000 each and just a few cents per hour to run compared with thousands of dollars an hour for a helicopter. He says the drones, which will be run by specially trained staff, will also cut risk for the lifeguards. Police will send dogs in when they've got a, a really dangerous situation first, or they'll send a robot in if it's a potential bomb situation or something like that. We're rapidly arriving at the situation where we can send the drones into uh, isolated or dangerous parts of, of our coastline to conduct the searches without having to put lifeguards in there. Mr Jago says the West Coast's unforgiving conditions may present challenges in flying and maintaining the drones. But the technology is developing rapidly, including some that will land in the water and act as a floating device. Planning for the pilot project has been rigorous, and for those worried about privacy issues, all footage will be wiped within days. Two words, safe and legal. Um, and so that drives all our standard operating procedures so we don't fly over people unnecessarily just in case we have equipment failure and it you know, plunges out of the sky. Uh, we don't do anything that could alarm or, or, or distress people. The head lifeguard at the club, Oliver Tayak, says drones will make their jobs easier, especially during the glaring evening sun strike. It will also provide an opportunity for others wanting to be involved in rescue. For the lifeguards who sort of are getting on a bit, don't want to get into the water, don't want to get into the boats, um, for the lifeguards' parents, you know, um, gives them something that they can sort of add to the club, um, sort of different ways for them to contribute. So I think it's going to be beneficial for um, sort of everyone. A number of the local beachgoers agreed. Yeah. People don't actually realise how rough it gets, how dangerous it is. Yeah. yeah. And so would you feel safer having something like that technology at the club? Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Especially to go past out the breakers and stuff and the yeah. surfers as well would be good. I do. I don't see a problem with it as long as they're open to feedback from people who are using the beach and if there's any issues that they can sort of have open dialogue about it. I think it's good. We've got to embrace the technology and see what it can do for us. If it's going to help save lives, go for it. Can you foresee any issues? People are worried about, you know, privacy and whatever they're doing being kept or stored or whatever. But, you know, for the greater good, if they save people out here, you know, I don't see as it's an issue really. The club hopes to roll out the project to 10 northern clubs over the next year and a half at a total cost of $150,000. It will rely on donations and sponsorship to see the project through. Amurawai mo te hotaka o te ahiahi, ko Eva Corlett tenei.